you get so let me introduce him <laughs> so oscar is uh let me read the bio i talk about how i know oh, him <laughs> so the rich uh bio i think to 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 saw our, our our posts and all that as the uh, founder you know managing partner of both fm p2 now this capital fm uh there's all that going on but for me he's still oscar i think uh, <laughs> uh we relate in a very different way he was actually supposed to be a world holiday yeah? <laughs> he postponed his holiday just to be with us today so we've known each other for ish, almost 30 years maybe <laughs> they're about probably so many you know, so each other in school forms and stuff of that sort but it's a wealth of resource in terms of information of how you can handle the media i think he's been through his own table and times um if you follow him or if you read his posts on facebook i because i'm his friend i don't comment that's why I don't come to <laughs> if I want to talk to him I talk to him on the side but then I think uh, we could have picked up a better person to talk about media apart from the media mogul himself so let's just make uh, Oscar walk up this evening but thank you for taking time to just come through and listen to us I think some of you can stand here and speak just as good as we do but I'm greatly indebted to to this too you know you sit at a place in your life where some people think you're an elephant so every person that touches you is they actually have a definition of who they think you are and some people if three four people tell you you're such a great person you actually begin to believe it now it's not a bad thing it's not a horrible thing except that if you walk in what is becoming a, a perception of you you can actually begin to walk in a ditch now i am churched all through my life so you can imagine i got and I'm, i'll have to tell you this because that's that's my background i got into church when i was 13 and i've had to live my life mirroring my life towards what makes sense or what is really what i suspect works and there's something that has caught my my attention i think since i was 14 is sold i don't know if it works for you but i don't know if it, it, it has ever occurred to you how important salt is every time you put haven't you noticed that every time you put salt on the table nobody remembers that there's salt until they need salt let's 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 turn this one have you ever realized that nobody has ever said this salt tests meaty have you ever realized every time is that this meat test really good have you put some salt in it but have you seen how lousy food is that is if you are not banned from eating so or from eating anything with salt but have you realized how lousy food is if there is no salt that to me is to me is a clear definition of influence and that's what defines what i've had to walk in in life where you can be sold you can influence you can affect things without becoming the subject the problem with being anything else and in as much as you're influencing things or you're seeing things you begin to see what i call you know like there's just a cloud that begins to surround you because you can't see through what is either affecting you or influencing you purely because you you're not paying attention to what 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 is around you have you noticed what happens to salt on the table and there's water in it it is very difficult it is actually annoying it takes so much of your time to just try and test the food why because there's something wrong in the salt and i think many a times it, it happens a lot to us so with the many slides that have, 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 have gone across what have we become as a media house what have we become as where well, sometimes people look at us as good <clears throat> many a times but there's a few times when even the best of us miss it what happens when you miss the step I think those are the things that begin to challenge me as I've walked 
from a point where I was just an ordinary person and I feel ordinary. Until people begin to see everything you touch as something that would affect them or will influence what people think about them. It's a simple question. Anybody can ask the question until some of us ask the question. That's why. So it's important that I'll tell you, at, at age nine, I knew I'm an engineer. You get the point. Purely because I know, I knew, I don't like this, I can do that. I, so after elimination and also aggregating what I know I love, I quickly defined who I was. So I'm not the guy that I don't even know how to dance. So playing music is a waste of time for me. If it's not just for, for hearing. If you want me to dance, you're probably talking to the wrong person. I know that. So when people go to the down to the dance floor, I sit at the point where I'm seeing how they're dancing. Why? Because that's that's what so I have defined and I know exactly who I have become. In my role where I work or where I am or at the businesses that we have, I know exactly what I cannot be. So I will never at any one time just when they decide there's nobody on here, let me go and go up and be the DJ. That's not me. So it can't happen in either one of them or three of them or four of them. It can't happen. Why? Because you have to know, even as a person that has influence, where your limitations are. And I think uh, my sister did, did allude to that. You need to know where your limitations are. And many a times I've seen people that do things purely because everybody's doing them. So if somebody's insulting people, you also start insulting them. If somebody's having a go at them, then you also start having a go at them. So there's never a point where you see loyalty. You get the point. Even as an influence, there's certain things that you must not just say, yes, I saw it, but I, I, I couldn't comment. There are friends of mine who are very close, very, very close. The whole country can shout at them on social media and do what? I will go to his house. And you're like, ah, oh, you're here. I'm like, yeah. Where can we sit? We'll sit and I'll share with them what I feel is a burden on my heart. And they have a choice. They can choose to say, listen, you shouldn't have come. Or they can say, well, I've heard you. I think I'll do this and then I'll correct this. We can do life even in the privacy of a moment. We can do life. It doesn't have to be every because everybody knows me. So where's the microphone? I want to talk. You can walk to me and say, you know, you're my brother. I like you, but what you did there is affecting me. You don't have to shout or insult just because everybody else is doing. Influencers are not groupies, and you're not also not going to be a groupie because you heard me say it. You've got to choose your battles. You've got to choose where you stand. You have to choose what you're able to do. Yes, that brings me to the second last step. Just because you're an influencer doesn't mean you can be loyal. Right. I know it's difficult to, to work that out. But the people that feel too big even before they can walk. That doesn't mean you, you know, like the times when if everything felt in our systems, I will roll up my sleeves because I am the engineer here. I will roll up my sleeves for two, three, four hours, even 12 hours sometimes to get it right so that we don't let the person out there down. Why? Don't we have it? Yes, we have. Maybe they, they, they are not doing a good job of it or they are not up to it or maybe they are missing something. So you can be able to do even the, 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 the not so nice job just to be able to get certain things done. So be, be careful not to build your own 
platform and begin to live in the platform, not even on it, in it. What did you call me? I'm Dr. So and so. I'm like, sorry, can you just tell us what is your name? My name is Javola Oscar. I am so grateful that these two are what I know best fit me. There's the Fwambo where my mom would call me Fwambo and then there's a part which is Timothy but ultimately I, I answer to these two names Oscar Chabot. Now if there's a doctorate somewhere waiting you won't see it on my name purely because it's not part of my identity and I don't want to be identified purely because people feel that's, a, that's the best way to stroke my ego. I want people to call me by my name because they know me and they're able to respond to me purely because they can relate to me. It's important that you need to know as influencers, as people that stand, there are people that, if you don't call him by just the titles, it begins to literally shake. I'm wondering, why are you shaking? No, they, they, they don't understand me. And then what, what, what don't they understand? They actually think I'm their size. What do you mean they're your size? So you get confused. You actually have begun to live your own life. You actually think you were born a doctor or a professor. And the people that could be doctor, bishop, professors, I'm like, how? Okay, first, on whose paper do you want to appear like that? So sometimes you can begin to live a lie. But on the media side, I see this all the time. How does that affect me? Every time I see that, I see the level of a man or I see the level of a woman. I can see what their problems are and it starts with ego. Do I want to live in that space? <coughs> no. I want to live in a space where a friend of mine and the people that I trust with my life, if Alfred called me at midnight, I know there's something wrong with them. Why does he call me at this time? And the people that I know, when they call me and if it's correction or encouragement, I know they can sense something. Why? Because you need to build a network of people that build you. And the people that literally, I think my sister said, who want to pull you down every single day. They want every single day. There's somebody. The people that will just walk up and say, you're even at work today. <laughs> and you're wondering, was I supposed to die? Was anything in CSN about me dying? You know? And... You can see how we all get carried away or how people get car carried away by losers. Why? Because in their mind, they began to believe that they are influencers. They think they can make the whole country stop. And it's, it's a diversion and I think I have a minute. It's a diversion. We had to literally ban it. We just have to say, no, not here. That nobody talks about it. Focus on other things. There are more important things that we can do. Why? Because we can get caught up as a people and begin to live a very nonsensical life purely because somebody said or somebody wished and every accident is who died? Did they die? No, I think you missed them. And I'm thinking we can't live our lives like that. So we see this all the time. From a media point where you begin to see everybody else wants to buy it or want to think they can throw money at you and you begin to tell lies. You need to be able, as a person, where I stand, people will call you privately, in the privacy of the moment. They're like, where are you? I want to see you. I can, do you think you can do this for me? People need to be able to know that even if they brought a million dollars to you, ten million dollars, you still remain intact as a person. You still remain intact. Where you're able to walk out and say, no, I'm not going to do this, purely because our standards don't allow this. But this is money. It is money, but I can't take it. No, but you, you have never taken it. No, not once. Not once. I've seen money, but I've not taken any. And I've told people, if you really, somebody says I've taken money, just tell them, how much? Because I haven't. And to be honest, any person that takes the risk of doing that actually destroys themselves. So you have to be able to know that this I can do, that I can't do. But it all starts with you. Because a lot of people don't take stock. And that's my last point. Take stock. Just sit yourself down. I do this every so often. 
just take stock, you know. It's, it's not a lot, you're alone, so it's not like accounting stuff. You can be able to tell. I can be able to tell. How much of me is still true and relevant? Firstly, to me, to my sense of belief, to where I'm going. Can you tell whether you become a liar or a user or a manipulator? Are you able to tell? Are you able to sit yourself down and say, I think me and me are not together. Are you able to tell yourself that? Are you able to stop and just say, you know what? I think this person and the other person, we're not one. Are you able to tell yourself that? Because many a times, many of us don't even know what is important to us. All you want is, I want influence. I want when I do this, everybody stands up. Can you see? So what I'm simply trying to say is, you can not, not be loyal to yourself. You cannot. It's easy for, you know, the people who would be washed every single, you know, like, today they're this, tomorrow they're that. No, 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 no. If you're going to remain at least at my level or at any level in your life, if you're going to be the salt, you must not have sugar in the salt. You can't be like, you know, it's, it's there. It can't be. You have to. And this is what will define what my sister said, what my brother said, clearly. Because otherwise, you are all things to all people. And because you're all things to all people, have you seen how you struggle making basic decisions? You will struggle. Why? Because you don't take stock. For me, my challenge, even as a people, as, as a group, as people that you probably look at, is I want you to hold me to the highest possible standard. Not because I'm afraid of failing, but because I want to be where I think I should be. Not because I'm afraid, what if I fall? Listen, falling is not a problem with me. It's standing up, which I've always felt is important. And I want to stand up. So if I fall, just pick me up. Why not just come and pick me up? Just like I know that guy he said he wants to stand. That's all I want. Falling is not the issue. So I, I just want to challenge you to do that. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I have a good advice.